Hello everyone, my name is Barb and this is Mystic Door Tarot. The reading today is for Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. And yes, we have our smoke card reading today. I want to thank everyone for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join our family each and every day. Tap the bell for notifications. I do have a website for private readings and I offer several tarot spreads and the link is here on the about tab. Now let's get on to the reading. I've laid out the spread already and I'm using the trip and wait tarot deck and the crystal angels oracle card and all the information is below. And our first card is the seven of wands. followed by the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups showing up again. And our crystal is Clear Quartz. And our smoke card reading for a little bit later. Now, we see this fairy defending himself against the two bumblebees buzzing about Pretty big bees, but he's a small fairy in this deck. Okay. This card's about staying on top of things. Standing your ground on topics that you believe in. There could be stiff competition and a lot of struggle. You might start to lose faith in yourself. But you're in a better position or place than you think you are. Number seven brings forces that must be dealt with, but are on beyond our control. Seven is a spiritual number, which can mean to look within and at the larger meaning of the situation. Big forces can be at work here. Forces against you at your workplace or stiff competition, society's expectations, social media, and also our own lack of faith in ourselves. When this card appears, you need to ask yourself what you truly believe in. If you are confident in your beliefs, then don't back down. This is the seven of wands. And wands can be like magic wands with the energy of the life force that it can bring. It can spark your motivation, your power, and your desire. The wands are the connection actually between the spiritual and the material. So summon your inner strength and determination to overcome the odds and face the competition. You have the strength to face this. Do not give up the struggle. Tackle one thing at a time today, and when you make the effort, you will achieve victory. Now our next card is the Nine of Pentacles. She's shown here with her bird. It's usually a falcon. Can't tell in this one. And she's wearing a beautiful flowing purple robe and hat and has three rainbow hearts. Her nine pentacles are represented as peace signs in this deck. And she's an independent person, enjoying her wealth and rewards. She is self-sufficient. She has worked hard and with discipline to achieve these results. The bird represents how she acted with discipline in taming her impulses, like she tamed the bird there. This card in a reading is telling us to act with such discipline at this time. You will accomplish so much more by taming those unruly impulses. You just might need to take charge of your own future. Are you feeling more independent lately? This card can mean that you already have accomplished so much and the number nine signifies completion. So it might be a time to look back over what you've done, and feel secure in those achievements. 
In general, this card represents the desire for financial security and the promise of physical comfort and material benefits. Who doesn't want that? So if you're thinking of buying a home or property, then all will go well. Plans to remodel or redecorate your home? Everyone will agree and things will go smoothly. This definitely can be a person who is self-employed and thriving and is self-sufficient. This woman, or it can be a man, likes to spend time alone. She's alone and at peace with herself or himself and her or his surroundings. Sometimes this can represent a boss, either male or female, who tends to give off the impression of not needing anyone else. Is it possible that you give off that impression? Sometimes we don't realize. Now on to the Seven of Cups here. We've had this card uh, the other day, and it, was, it also followed another Pentacle card. So this one's following the, the uh, Nine of Pentacles. I think it was the Seven of Pentacles the other day. So we're definitely trying to decide where to invest our money or time or love. And this is the dreams and desires card. So we see this young fellow looking at all the interesting cups. And in this trip and wait deck, if you haven't seen this card before, you're, you're seeing the interesting things here <laughs> in the different cups. A little bit different than, than the Rider Waite deck. Fun deck, though. So much to choose from, and it all looks good, but is uncertain and not a guarantee right now. So your heart is telling you pick this, but your head is not so sure. This might be a time where you need to make some important decisions about your future. Your success will depend on it. Now, these are general readings, and not everything here will resonate with everyone or all the time with you. So now let's take a look at the crystal needed for today. And that is clear quartz. Let yourself feel all your emotions. And as the card reads, your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. This crystal is telling us to really think things through, feel everything. Now, all three of these cards here are things you do independently. Seven of Wands, telling you to stand up for what you believe in. You can do it. The Nine of Pentacles, showing how you are reaping your rewards after the efforts you put in. Bravo. And the Seven of Cups is you having to make a choice that only you can decide. It's all about you. Think things through. Feel the bad, let it go. Feel the good, embrace it. But be careful with this crystal. It is an amplifier of whatever energy is near you. That's why clear quartz is excellent for meditating alone, staying grounded, and true to your own feelings and thoughts. Now, for the numerology of the day, adding up today's spread here, as you see, is 23, which reduces to 5. Now, first taking a look, we do have two 7s in the spread. And that definitely means that something emotionally significant is coming our way, possibly true love. And cups are about feelings and emotions, and that uh, could be, for some of you, what's coming your way, true love. The number five energy of the entire reading definitely says change is coming our way. And now the bottom of the deck card, which I show sometimes and recently it's been consistent showing it. With this card, the world all will work out wonderfully. 
And we were talking about the wands in the Seven of Wands, and here she's got the wands in each hand. So that's connecting the spiritual and the material. And that's what we're talking about, spiritual and material in this whole reading today. So now on to our smoke card reading. And let me just get that queued up. Okay, I think we're set there. Now, I now have a separate video about understanding smoke card readings. And rather than explaining it every Wednesday for my newcomers, you can check out that video on my channel. And I would watch that first before viewing this smoke card reading. And just one heads up as always, the smoke card readings are done in a meditative state and my sketching is often erratic. For purposes here, I try to sketch what's coming through so you can actually partially see my visions and messages. So keep in mind that this is a general reading, which is more difficult to perform with all the different energy swirling around. And let me get this a little bit bigger for you here. Let's move my one crystal here. Okay, the first major big thing was the number 98 came through, which you can see right here. And this is about attracting success and abundance. So this is definitely a notification for my viewers, some of my viewers out there, to be looking for signs. And the number nine and eight are the two root, which is reduced numbers, that resonate at the highest frequencies. So with number nine, this is about using your talents for a higher purpose, and you can reach your full potential. And number eight here, that's all about material abundance and success and wealth and prosperity. So the combination of the two is that you'll achieve success in your pursuits and attract wealth and abundance as a result. You just have to look for the signs and that's what it's alerting us to. Sometimes the smoke card readings just are about one major message and that's what this one's all about just about 98 and for some of you out there and hopefully for all of you out there because this is attracting abundance. So look for the signs and it can be like dates, like 9, 8, 2019, uh, addresses like 9801, something like that, phone numbers that have 98 in them and definitely monetary things like when your purchases or things will add up to $14.98 or you're really looking at something and like it's $5.98 or $22.98 um, or $98, whatever it might be. So that's what you're looking for. Now, and I've got my, my trusty wand here. The... First thing that came through, and this was really odd, and I had to kind of do a little looking up, is, you know, I saw the, the J here, and you can see the J as best as I drew it, and, but the name Javier came through very distinctly, but then it brought me to this X here, which is Xavier, and somehow it was connected. So I did a little bit of um, research after because I was like, that's just really odd. Uh, but both of them are captured because we do have a definite X for Xavier. And then um, I, the J here was Javier. But I guess Javier spelled with a J is the Spanish spelling of the masculine name Xavier. So it was just weird that that came through so intently. 
And let me see, um, since we're right by the J here, you've got the Y and the name Yolanda. Sometimes names come out. Um, that doesn't mean that um, somebody else whose name begins with one of these letters, um, it can mean for you, it's just it's more intense or just names just pop in. I, that's the clear cognizant side of me where it's just, you just know things and things just pop out. Um, also, the name Jim came out for that. And this small letter T is for Tim. But sorry for the older Tims, this is a young, really young person, Tim. So maybe just starting out, you're getting out of college and um, you know what you've learned and everything, you're going to capture that 98 and put your talents and everything to good use and it'll lead to success and prosperity. So um, let's see. We've got the giant K here, the name Kathy, Katie came through on that one. And the H here, which is almost vanishing, Horatio, and the name Heather came through. And I would say, really take a good look and, and get your talents to good use because the H was like trying to slip away. That's the feeling that I got. This opportunity or something is going to slip away for Horatio or Heather, so um, get a hold on that. And basically, the, the entire card was just all about that this is out there. Look for the signs and then think about the talents and, and how you can put them to good use and for a higher purpose. You know, this would be something like if you're in the medical field and you know, you, you really have a breakthrough and you get that breakthrough and it's something that really can help out humanity. So it's things like that, things that, that will help out people for a higher purpose. Charity work, I mean, there's so many things out there. So everybody's got something that they can give um, and help out the rest of us and people that are in need. So that's it for the smoke card reading. Sometimes there's more, but this is all about 98. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the readings and please be sure to subscribe and support my channel. Smoke card readings are available on my website, mysticdoortarot.com. And if you stayed here to the end of the reading, I'm offering free smoke card readings to the next 12 books readings on my website. So the next 12 readings that come through, that you've chosen the spread, you've paid for it, it comes through, I will contact you and we will, you will get a free smoke card reading from me. And these are originals. You're not going to see this anywhere else because as in my understanding smoke card reading videos, this is an original. This is something that was passed down to me from a family member, actually was my godmother, and um, very spiritually close. So it, it's really uh, a nice um, tribute that got passed down to me. So anyway, I wanna wish everyone love, light, and abundance to all of you. Until tomorrow.